Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 2 of Wick. Now this game came out a few years ago, it is a cross between Five Nights at Freddy's and Slenderman in its gameplay, and basically we try and survive in the woods against some sort of undead kids it seems, as they're stalking us and we have to play out a ritual which involves a candle and five matches, basically keep ourselves in the light and well lit until 6am rolls around, for of course I think five or six hours to get through and then we will hopefully escape these woods once and for all in the first part of this playthrough if you didn't see it guys we did I think 12 a.m. 1 a.m. and we just got to 2 a.m. we didn't pass 2 a.m. on our first try so we're gonna try it in this video and my plan is to get through maybe like two hours per night if there's six hours total so we'll be like a three part playthrough either way guys I'm gonna dive back in and see what this night has to offer okay here we go guys 2 a.m. now if you remember we do have to pick up the candle and keep it lit but it seems like we now have a character that can blow our candle out also in the last video I heard a snoring noise that I believe is belongs to like a big guy who will chase us if we keep our candle lit when we're nearby to him so if we hear that snoring we either have to get away from the guy or put out our candle okay now that character we want to avoid eye contact with so if he appears in front of us we turn around quickly and avoid eye contact. Of course, this isn't the only thing that we can do during each night. We also have the ability to find hidden items which provide us with more story detail and hidden pages uh, as well which give us sort of a little bit more insight into each of these characters. So let's get looking for some clues and hopefully we can survive the night in the process. Very eerie. Oh, I can hear something moving. Here's a candle. I think I'll stay here till this candle goes out and then take this one. Yeah, this is going to go out. I'm going to pick up this candle now. Light it. So here is the gate. Obviously, we can't go through that. That's our escape path, but we haven't survived until 6 a.m. yet, so. I'm going to just run over here a little bit. Oh, look, a sofa. I haven't seen this before. Okay. I think that was a character we're not meant to look at. I want to go back to this sofa in case there's anything hidden behind it. Because it seems like a landmark, doesn't it? I don't know why I'm so excited for a busted up old sofa, though. Let's uh, keep going. I don't think there's anything of note next to that sofa. Oh, something's running. Oh, I can hear a snoring as well. Hear that snoring, guys? That is the big guy that got us in the last video. So I'm going to sort of head away from him. I do need to find more candles, though. I don't like you. Oh, who's that? No. Okay, we survived. Guys, did you hear that? That was the big guy waking up. Okay. Okay. That was that was bad. The kid that like teleports around us just appeared. I need to find another sort of uh, candle pronto here, guys. Otherwise, we're just going to get screwed over. But yeah, we just survived against the big guy. We did actually wake him up with our light. He came charging at us and I put the light out. And I think that sort of saved us. I really want to find a candle because... Oh! If I don't find a candle, guys, we've got no light. Apart from the matches. And there's the little girl that's just appeared. I just need to find... Like, I know where there is a candle. The ruins of the old house. And I really don't want to use my matches until I have to until we like oh find another candle come on give me a candle here's one here's one here's one beautiful light that baby up and let there be light oh this feels so much better doesn't it having that light around us just makes us feel so much safer I haven't found any hidden items so far guys because most of this night I've just been terrorized oh I can hear the guy sleeping. I'm going to keep away from him, guys. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, we survived again against the teleporting kid. We can't look at that kid. If we look at him, he gets us. I don't know if I've explained that yet in the video. Oh, look. Here we go. Oh, my God. Something in that well just reached out for us. I don't... Oh, my God. Maybe we can summon something from that well if we, like, do something with it. Okay, this is a little girl. Let's get away from her. The little girl, basically, we just have to go away from her. The little boy that has the mask on. Oh, put this out. Why am I in trouble? What's going on? I've just got teleported again, guys. And I don't know where. Oh, there's the remnants of the old house. There'll be a candle over here. It's important to know where candles are kept around the map. And you kind of learn that as you go. No, we got teleported again. Are you kidding me? Here's an old shack. We went in this last time, actually. And we saw like a... What the heck? Did that door just shut on us? Yeah, last time we saw a noose and a chair in there. But this time we've just been like shut out of it. Oh, it's opened again now. Can I go in now? I can. But there doesn't seem to be anything in here. There's definitely something up with that house, isn't there? I don't know what, though. Anyway, let's go over to the other house that's burned down over here. Oh, look. There's an item. A holy Bible. Let's take that. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits. More wicked than himself. Okay. Well, that's some more... <laughs> Holy crap! What the heck? Was that the little boy? He had a broken mask, of course. Either way, I think what we'll do is jump back in, guys. I'll try and skip most of that night because you've seen most of it now. So I'll just get to where I'm beating it now, hopefully. And we'll pick back up where we left off. Okay guys, we're doing okay so far. I think I'm getting towards the end of the night. I have a good strategy for the guy that appears right in front of us that killed us last time. You just look down at the floor. That's the girl though. So we don't wanna, we wanna move away from her. But yeah, you just look down at the floor for the guy that keeps teleporting around and he can't seem to get you. I've tried this night about three times and he's the guy he always gets us, so this is the strategy, right? Just look down at the ground. Last time he killed us because he appeared like in a ring around us. And there was like multiple versions of him. When that happens again, just look down like this. And it kind of like... Just shields you from his... Well, from looking at him at all. So there we are, we've done it now. We just need to survive till the end of, to, uh, the, end of the night. We've got a candle up here though. So let's take that. You can kind of hear the guy snoring as well. Oh. I need to light my candle. Oh my god, look, he's appeared right there, guys. That is not nice. Is he going to go yet? Yes. Oh my god, okay. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that at all, guys. Let's just camp out here for now, right? Oh my god, what the heck? What is going on here? Wow, okay, I think that's a secret. We've just unlocked an achievement, tasty. So I'm guessing that's how the mother died. That's pretty morbid. Um, and now we've got teleported. Just away from the house a little bit, though. I know where we are. That's fine. We've just got to survive a little bit longer. We're all good. Oh. Just look down at the ground. It's fine. I don't like that sound, though. Is that the same guy making that sound? 
Guys, I don't know. I don't like that sound at all. That's not nice. Let's go over to the old shack again. Seems like a safe place, right? We've got to be close to the end of the night now. This is nuts. These nights are way longer than FNAF. Oh, this chair was there again. The chair and the noose were there again. I'm going to run over here, guys. It's got to be a candle. Oh, that's a girl. Oh, we've got a candle here. There you go. Light that candle. Nice. And there's one here as well. We should be sort of fine till the end of the night now, I imagine. Oh, we've done it. Brilliant. Third hour done. We even got a secret there. We got to see a cool light little cutscene. Sure I knew him. So what? We haven't hung out since junior high when he joined some website and stopped caring about real life. Right, so that's somebody that knew. Are we? I wonder if these guys are all referring to our character. I'm starting to think that's the case. Database search yields multiple files for missing persons in area. One active case file and a missing person report entered into evidence. So we can check those out later, guys. For now, let's head on to the final hour for this video, which is, of course, 3 a.m. Okay, so we've got a candle. Good. And what the heck is this? A new character. Keep moving. Okay, so when this guy chases us, it looks like some kind of zombie character, some kind of skeleton. When he chases us, we've got to keep running at all times. So I guess if we stop moving, he just gets us. Which is going to make avoiding, like, the guy that appears just in front of us a lot harder. I need to learn their names. Obviously... What was that? Was that the... Is that the, the, the creature or the kid that we're meant to be avoiding? It sounded kind of new, but I'm not sure. Wait, let's head on to the school bus. I want to see if any names have been added now, but I haven't seen yet. <gasps> yeah, look, Caleb. That wasn't there before. This, this kid, this new kid, I bet he's Caleb. So we've got Tim, Tom. Oh, there's a... looks like a baby's rattle. What's wrong with him? That's kind of creepy. Wait, I think the, I think the game's crashed, guys. So yeah, the game has officially crashed on us. Okay, guys, we're jumping back in. My game crashed. I think I had to actually exit out of it. Um, but we'll try that again, and you know, hopefully this time the game doesn't lock up. But I just wanted to show you when it did crash because obviously we collected a secret item and got a little bit more story information. It sounds like the father thought something's up with his child. And maybe I'm thinking like he was some kind of like preacher and obviously thought his ch children were possessed or something and it caused him to like set a fire to burn the house down. I don't know. Like I'm just guessing because we don't have enough information to go on yet. But just putting together what we've learned in this video, you know, is really interesting that. But yeah, we have this name Caleb, and I think that's the name of a new kid. It also says shows Tim and Tom there. So I'm thinking maybe this night, this bus like shows which children are active per night. So we've got the new kid Caleb. We've also got Tim and Tom active. Of course, Tim I believe is the kid with the mask who, who like chases us about, and then Tom I think is the kid that kind of like teleports about and we can't look at him. So. I think they're the ones that are going to be active in this night. Do I take that candle or do we wait a little bit longer? It doesn't seem like we're in any danger on this bus, but I don't want to speak too soon. So I'm going to take the, the kind of candle and sort of head on. also noticed we've got more matches than at the start of the game now. Like, we start, started the game, I think we had, like, five matches. Now we've got, like, seven matches to use per, sort of, hour, which is really good. Oh, I think that's the new guy. I don't know where he is. Oh! gonna run. That's freaky. <sighs> I 
That is Tom, I believe, the teleporting child we're not meant to look at. So, we've got him in play for sure. Obviously, we're going to have the guy, Caleb, that can chase us about the skeleton boy. And then Tom, I believe, is the first child we met in the first video with a really white mask that sort of just chases us down. He's the most normal looking kid so far. We've got an... Oh! I think that's Tom there. Man, he is persistent. Alright, he's gone. Good. Our candle is about to go out, so I'm going to try and collect up a new one here. Got another candle lit. There's nothing to collect here. We should be looking for collectibles, guys, really. Like, oh, that is Tom. That was Tom, and he, like, literally fell down right next to us from that tree. I hate it when he does that. The cheeky little beggar. We've got this under control. Wait, something's coming towards us. Oh my god, it's tunneling under the ground. Oh! Wow. Okay, that scared me. Did you see that thing, guys? It was like a sandworm from, like, Star Wars or something. <laughs> Just tunneling under the ground towards us. I'm guessing that's Caleb. Obviously, he's zombified. He's been buried, and he's kind of risen from the ground. So if we see him rushing towards us like that, we turn tail and run. Just gonna keep exploring, really. Here's another candle by the well. Oh, and there's the little hand that pops out of it. Right, I think that bell means that we're halfway through the night. There's a baby that's been put down at well, I bet you. There's some creepiness right there. We can do this, guys. This will be the final sort of hour for this video. I think I keep calling them nights. Obviously, it's not nights, it's hours. We're here till 6 a.m. But yeah, if we can do two in one, that'd be awesome. Look down at the ground. No, what the heck? No, I walked into him, I think, guys. That is so frustrating. He he just got us. I think what I'm going to do, guys, again, is cut ahead towards the end of the night now. You've sort of seen what the new enemy type is like, and I don't want to have a video, obviously, me just trying over and over and over again. So I'm going to sort of keep playing this however long it takes. I'll get to the end of this night, and I'll show you, like, the ending of this night. If anything interesting happens, I'll cut it into a video, but if not, I will just try and get towards the end of the night and show you the last sort of, like, couple of minutes of gameplay there. Okay guys, I think I'm getting near the end for another time of this particular hour. We've only got one match left and I don't know where any of the candles remain in this sort of map at the moment. But I'm just cautiously hoping that we can finally survive. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Oh, we've got Tom chasing us now. He's in the mix. Had a number of close calls in this night. Oh, come on. Candle, do not fail me now. I need to find another one of your brothers. But you've gone out. Great. Oh. Oh. No. Man, I really don't want to light my last match until we find a candle, you know? Where would the candle be? Where could we get a candle at this point? Come on. We need a landmark, don't we? I'm going to have to light a match, guys. I have to light the match and hope that we can find a candle to sort of transfer it to. This is so creepy. Come on, just, just just end. I just want the hour to end. No, we're out of matches. We're gonna have to survive in the dark now. Completely surviving in the dark. Come on, man. 
give me a break here. No more matches. Definitely no more matches. I just checked. Okay. The fear is going to consume us, I think. That's what happens if we don't have any light around us. Like, I think we just get scared to death, pretty much. <gasps> have we done it? We done it! Yes! Fourth hour! Oh my god, guys, that took me so long to do. The hours are like really long, and I kept having it's to retry just a that one. Website. I thought the video was fake, but maybe not. It says 4 a.m. Subject references website for WIC players. Possible evidence related to missing persons case. Website entered into evidence. Okay, so we'll go and check that in a sec. There we go, it's now 4 a.m. I'm not actually gonna continue 4 a.m. right now, guys. I'm gonna exit to the main menu. And we're going to actually check out quickly some of the stuff that we've unlocked and then I'm going to end off the episode there. These were really hard nights and I can only imagine, you know, how tricky it's going to get, like, going forward. You can see, obviously, what we've unlocked per night here. So I'm actually missing quite a lot of the collectibles as well along the way. So if we go to findings, let's see what we've collected in our drawings. You can see here the drawings we've had. This guy, obviously... Don't wake him because he sleeps. There's the guy that you can't like look at. The bane of my life, that guy. That's the new guy. We saw him tunneling. We didn't actually come face to face with him. I probably make, will make a video where we look at these characters in detail though, because they're pretty cool. Um, anyway, and then we've got evidence. We'll probably have some new evidence pieces, I imagine. It's just a made-up website. I thought the video was fake, but maybe not. I think it's obvious who would want to do something like that. He seemed way more into it than the rest of us. So here we go, the sort of whole game that we've got involved in is called Wick. And obviously we're reliving the backstory of this character who's, I assume, died during playing the game Wick, or something's happened to him. But yeah, it's a website that you can find, like, the rules to play it. Just kind of like ritual things that you find online, I guess. Like creepy pastas and stuff. And most people probably think it isn't true. What else have we unlocked? Sure I knew him. So what? We haven't hung out since junior high when he joined some website and stopped caring about real life. Playing Wick? That's your theory? He probably ran away with his internet girlfriend after he got tired of everyone else calling him a freak. This is interesting. So police uh, missing person report is obviously saying that this guy who I think we're playing as, has gone missing playing the game Wick, and then he's talking about the website, and that's the website we were just looking at, so it's all coming together. But again, I will do a video like looking at this properly, I'm just having a quick peruse at the moment. And then obviously we've got this baby's rattle up there, that's the other thing we collected tonight, and a Bible at the bottom. What's wrong with him? Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. So he's talking about seven souls there that were wicked. I'm just wondering, if we go back to evidence, and we have a look at this picture, how many kids were there? One, two, three, four, five. The There's five kids there, plus the two parents. That would be seven souls, so I wonder if this is all tied together. Okay guys, I think instead of basically like, calling it for this video like I said I would originally, I think what I'm actually gonna do is play 4AM. Okay guys, here we go, 4AM. Let's dive back into the story of this game and see where it takes us next. I'm guessing this is going to be where, like, all of them are active. All of the children and family members are active in one night, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, let's get looking for some clues as to what happened in the story of this game. And that was a creepy noise right off the bat. Because obviously we can collect up to three clues per night, which add to the backstory of the game. And I will be going back to try and collect all of them to make a story video. What was that noise? didn't like that. There's a candle there. But yeah, I will be doing a story video on this game, guys, most likely. I just sort of have to make sure that we collect up all the evidence to be found on each night first. And I'll do that on my own time, obviously. 
I think there's meant to be like a secret ending to this game as well. Okay, let's head over to the house. Anything in the house tonight? Oh, there's a lantern. Okay, so I'm guessing that's talking about my mother. Her house burned down, we saw that before in the flashback over here. And of course, the children did indeed go missing. Great, I can't see any signs of candles. Like, nowhere around here are the candles. Can I hear someone sleeping? Yeah, I can hear the sleeping guy. Just run. Oh, run. I can hear the tunneling guy as well. I can hear the sleeping guy really close. Guys, I need to take out a, a match. Oh. There's the girl again. Let's go away from her. because Obviously, the girl, we have to go away from her. The tunneling guy, we have to run from. The sleeping guy we can't get too close to. Um, and can't have a light look, sort of lit at the same time. I'm really looking for candles here though guys. I can't see any candles. We need to find where that sofa was again. Man, this is creepy. I'm lighting another match. Oh, she's appearing again. Here's the bridge. There's usually candles around the bridge, so hopefully we can find, yes, a candle right there. Let's pick that up. There we go, finally. Ooh, what's this? An old shoe. <laughs> no, somebody just blew out a candle. Why would they do that? Guys, I have no idea how long we've got to survive this night for. I think it's eight minutes usually, isn't it? Is it not? We just got teleported. I'm going to light the candle up again so you guys can see as well. Right, there's a candle there. We've actually collected two out of three artifacts on this night, though. And so far, everything is going pretty well, so... Oh! Shouldn't have said, shouldn't have spoke too soon. That was close. That's the guy we can't look at, obviously. I think his name is like Tom, or is it Tim? It's either Tom or Tim, I think that's Tom. And uh, and Tim, I think, is the guy that like runs at us, basically. But who we have to run away from. But like I say, guys, I'll be doing a full video on all of these different like children and their motives and like their backstories and stuff. I think that'd be really interesting. I really hope that we can make this, guys. I feel like this isn't the last hour, though. Like, there should be... There should be one more. Oh. Okay. So stay looking down. Come on, leave, leave, leave. Good, he's gone. Man, I do not like those noises at all, guys. Oh. Alright, he's gone. Good. It's getting very quick now. Tom is probably, the, I would say, the hardest to avoid. Simply because he's, like, super fast. And, and one wrong move and he just gets you straight away. The others, you know, you get a bit of time to run from them and stuff. Oh, what's this? It's like a gas mask. Sounds like World War II or something. Man. Okay. I'm getting teleported now. We've been teleported next to the sleeping guy. I can hear him snoring. Benny, I think his name is. Guys, we really need to... Wait, is that the tunneling guy coming towards us? I think it is. I'm running, guys. I'm running. 
We need to find a candle because I can't see anything. This is pitch black everywhere. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, he's right there. Man, this is nerve wracking. Come on, just end. I want this hour to end. Okay, good. No, why did you have to appear as I lit my match? Such bad timing. We got teleported again, are you kidding me? We've been teleported next to the sleeping guy as well. Man, this is nuts. I think I'm really close to completing this as well. Holy crap! No, the guy tunneled to us. Guys, that is nuts. Oh no. That's crazy. I actually think that we were like really close to beating that then because we got like so like we played it for so long. Like another minute or two and would have that would have been it. So I'm not gonna show you the full night again, guys. As I said, you've seen most of the night now, you've seen the all the collectibles I've picked up. I think I'm gonna jump to the ending now when I finally beat it or just before then to give you an idea of like, you know, obviously what the whole night looks like. Man, I'm just gonna bide my time here, I think. We've got all the collectibles. We don't really need to be exploring too much. Just stay by where we know candles are. There's one on the bus over there. There's one down here. And just survive, I reckon. Oh, is that it? Nice, we did it, guys. Awesome, finally. <laughs> Is this the ending? It looks like we've done, we've done the game then. That looks to be the end of Wick. 5am, search party locates missing teen, subject hospitalised for emotional trauma, group to be charged with wrongful endangerment and a hoax. Okay. I can't believe you called the cops before it was over. Shut up, leave her alone. You've done enough damage for one night. I told you there was something out there. I wonder what happened before the cops got there. I keep thinking of those eyes. So messed up. That's our friend you're talking about. Your friend who might never be the same because of this. You didn't have to come, you know. Nobody forced you. We never should have listened to you. You and your stupid game. Exactly. It's just a game. So, who wants to go next? Hmm. Still go He hasn't learned, has he, from his mistakes? Case closed. You know, he's still getting his friends to endanger themselves playing the game of Wick. I think there's meant to be a proper ending, right? Like a secret ending. Because that ending wasn't like the best, I've got to admit. And also, if you notice guys, we were playing from 4am and we didn't get the 5am hour. It sped up time, so we didn't actually get to see what occurs in the final hour. And I bet you that all of the different characters are at play in the final hour, so it's even harder. There's more collectibles to get and that secret ending where we actually see what our character experiences if the time doesn't speed up. So I would be interested to see what that ending's all about. Right, here's the last collectible. Okay guys, what I've been doing, as you can see on that achievement, it says reveal the truth. I found out that there is indeed another hour you can unlock by collecting all the collectibles throughout the game. I've spent the last hour or so just doing that on my own time. We've now just got the last collectible, this pocket knife. And so we can dive into the final hour. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. I wanted to show you guys the true ending in this video. I thought there's no point leaving you hanging at this point. We've seen the bad ending if you don't get all the collectibles. Now we're going to see the true ending. Now you can see, obviously, we have unlocked the 5 a.m. hour, so we're going to play that next. But if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, you can actually see that we have got DLC to unlock as well. So once we found the final item there, I will also be able to play through the DLC in a separate video. For now, we're obviously just diving into this final hour to see what 5am brings. She said, what? I have no idea what this shit is. Isn't that your job? Okay, so it says 5am, search party dispatched, personal items located, remaining party taken in for questioning, backpack 8 entered into evidence. So we'll check that out later, but for now let's dive into the final hour, 5am, and see what happens next. Ooh, this is a bit different, we're looking at the graves. And it seems like there's a freshly dug grave there. And a candle which looks strangely green. 
Does this mean we're gonna have to survive a whole night with just this candle? And these are all the kids grave- oh! These are all the kids graves I'm assuming and that's a freshly dug one. We better get out of here guys. I'm wondering if that grave is like our gravestone or something. Are we like meant to be dead now? Because everything looks strangely green doesn't it? Like green of unusual. And obviously we've got this candle that's like not really burning down. It's just like half burnt. Oh. I don't know who that is. We've got the digging guy, Caleb. And I think that's the teleporting guy as well. Uh, which would be Tom, I believe. I've since learned that Tim and Tom are actually like twins. That would be, I think, um, Tim there chasing us. I'm guessing all of the characters are active this night and they're being like much more aggressive than normal. I don't know how long we're gonna have to survive for. Oh man, there we go, there is Tom. The quickest way to avoid Tom is just to like avert your eyes and strafe. Like, oh, there's, there's Tim. But if I found if Tom does appear in a circle around you, you have to look down at your feet for about three seconds. I don't know if there's any collectibles for us here, guys. I'm not worried about that right now. I just wanna show you guys the ending. Now that is Lillian. She obviously appears in a red mist. If we look directly at her, she gets us straight away. Man, I can hear her growling. Just leave us alone. So far, so good, though. I should be a pro at this game at this point. <laughs> I've been playing it so long to get all those collectibles. Oh, she's appearing again. Wait, is that halfway already? This must be a much shorter night. That's only been a few minutes. Is this like five minutes or something this night? Oh, okay, that was scary. I hate it when they just appear like that, but they don't actually attack. That is Tim, that is Tim, that is Tim, okay. I can hear the snoring guy. And we've been teleported, great. We've been teleported closer. I think it's Benny, his name, the big snoring kid. We've been teleported closer to Benny. Um, let's just keep looking around. I want to get away from Benny, but I also want to move away from Tom as he teleports. But yeah, if we bring our light too close to Benny, he just wakes up and then he attacks us and we can't escape. Man, we must be getting close. Oh, look down, look down, look down, look down. That's the move I was telling you guys about. You have to look down when that move happens. We better keep moving because we've got the tunneling guy, Caleb. Uh, we've also got, obviously, Tim that can run at us. Man, we must be near the end now, surely. That was the halfway bell. Run. I'm just going to keep running, guys. I feel like we're so close to the end that we've just got to keep avoiding everything. <laughs> Just keep our heads down and keep going. Oh no, please. Please leave us, please leave us. Okay. We're all fine. I can't believe we're still alive, to be honest. This has been quite a gruelling night. We're doing really well. Ooh! Press F to light match. Is this the end? That's all of them by their graves. <gasps> We're dead. We are. We've been claimed by them. We're part of the children of the forest now. So that's the true ending, I think. But obviously, it's kind of sad because that means that we just didn't survive. 6am, missing persons report filed. Okay, one year later, let's see what happens. It was a long time ago. The house burned down. The parents died, but their kids' bodies were never found. Creepy. That's messed up. Their kids used to play in the woods, then one by one, disappeared. People used to come up here and leave stuff in case the kids were still alive. They left candles burning, but the candles moved in the night. Really? Nobody would let their kids come up here after that. 
like that poor kid last year? Maybe they ran away? No. It was her friend who disappeared. What? Did you see that? Something's out there. Oh, the candle's blown out. So they're still bringing people up there, that like group of friends. They're still going up there, even though they know what happened to that kid that used to be part of their friends group. That's kind of dark, man. So, like, at the end, we were just in that grave, in that fresh grave, and we were exploring, sort of running from all the other ghostly ki kids that inhabited the woods, but, you know, they were not necessarily <laughs> out to get us at that point. They were just like, hey, look, you're dead, you're one of us. So that's really interesting. I mean, that last night was very short, but it was pretty tough. We did survive it, though, which was pretty decent. Uh, first time one and done there, which is awesome. But yeah, I'm glad I did that because it has given us a little bit of a different ending and obviously closure to the story. Now, there is DLC, guys. I will be diving into that shortly, probably in the next few days before Christmas. I will get that video out to you if I can. And then around Christmas time, maybe just after, I would like to do a video covering the story of this game and all the secrets. Might do it in like a two-part video, one for all the secrets and character profiles and one for the actual story itself. But either way, I've really enjoyed this game. I like the kind of mysterious tale that it kind of tells, and I like the setting, and I like that it's kind of a cross between Five Nights at Freddy's and Slender Man, but it's doing something, you know, different as well. So let's head back to the menu. I'm going to say goodbye now, guys. I won't go through all the evidence in this video because this video has been really long, but obviously we do need to unlock this stuff to get the DLC at the bottom that you can see there. But with that, I'm going to leave you guys. Thanks for watching this playthrough if you have. Remember to hit that like button, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.